What's up, sweetie Ratchet? Welcome to Ratchet Chess. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Of Happy course, Wednesday. It's Erica and Amber L. And it's AKA Boogie. AKA Lil E. She wants to say her own name. Yes. yes. AKA okay. Boogie. She wants to say Lil E. Okay, your Lil E. Yeah, and we are your host of Ratchet Chess. Minus. We keep on doing this shit, but we sorry. We not sorry, Ratchets, because it keeps happening. We are sorry. So we are minus one, which is Kayla, by the way. That is our other Ratchet co-host of the show, who hopefully will show up tonight. Oh. Well. <laughs> We're going to still get the party going, because why? We love our Ratchets, man, right? Period. And that's on period. So for all of our Ratchets who do not know how this show motherfucking goes, we gonna get the motherfucking show started with a little cheer. We wanna enlighten you. We wanna get your week up and we going. We wanna get energized. We want you to feel the energy. So, on three. One, if you know this show. Two, oh, hold on. Boy. One, wait, two, wait, wait, wait for our ratchet followers. If you know this cheer, what you gotta put in the comments for? Us? We wanna see them hands clap. We wanna see some hands, hands in the comments. Yeah, so we're going to get it going with a little song like this. If you ratchet in, you know it, clap your hand. If you ratchet in, you know it, clap your hand. If you ratchet in, you know it, then your click will surely show it. If you ratchet in, you know it, clap your hand. Clap your ass. Clap your ass. Clap your ass. Clap your ass. Bro, you look at 
Monica. Like we talked about, certain people have sex appeal. She's pretty. Her hair be laid, her makeup yeah, be bad. Don't got sex but appeal. she doesn't have sex so appeal. Like, do you think Monica got wet pussy or? I'm not saying I'm pussy wet, but that nigga wanted a thick bitch, bro. He wanted a bad bitch. Yeah, Monica she is a bad bitch. I know she is. Nigga, fuck with skinny Bro, this is so an NBA nigga, bro. Nigga, fuck with skinny ho. Look at that type of nigga. This a big six, 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 seven, big. So if you fuck with the show, you already know we start talking about Link. 
you can put some dick emojis in the comments and just let us know that you are trying to tune in. So with that being said, bro, I don't know. I think it's some ego thing with niggas. I feel like yeah, it's like when a dog marks his territory. That's how niggas feel with pussy. And, and they're marking their territory. And, like, and fuck you. the number one thing is a nigga's feeling disrespected. The fuck number you. one thing when a bitch cheat on a nigga is the disrespect. Yeah, he got it. Another he nigga that been here. Yeah, but both. 
you know, the probability. Why do us hoes feel like we gotta take a bath? Why, hoes? Because you gotta prove the other bitch. Like, no. Fuck the other bitch. Not me, personally. You gonna keep proving other bitches because he gonna cheat again. Hey. You just gonna be approving the other bitches, bitch. Like, Chloe, did you see what she posted? She said some shit like, even when you hurt me, I still try to understand you. Some shit like that. Bitches, fuck you. Bitch, why are you still trying to get clout? Let that shit go. Let that hurt go. Uh, uh, they hoes be irritated with they People are annoy me who can't get over relationships. People like that annoy me. Let it go. It's, when, it's, when it's obvious a nigga don't want you, that shit is embarrassing, fam. Let that shit go, bro. Get you somebody that wants you, my nigga. It's somebody that don't want you, bro. Period. Period. Bro. Stop. That sounds like the first push. She gonna do the opposite and go to the next push. Yeah. Let's see. We got some um, some chimers. What's up, ratchets? Hey, Floyd Powers. So, let's see what the next question is. My bows. Hey, ratchets. Thanks for tuning in. Ooh. What's... Ooh. Okay. That's a good question. Okay, but I'm going to ask my question real quick. So, when it comes to make up to break up, Okay, so how many times can a nigga cheat before you decide to leave? So basically, that was like my question. And I'm just wondering like how many breakups is sorry. How many breakups is like enough breakups before you just be like, I'm not gonna back no more? Like when do you give up? Is it I mean obviously it's not a certain amount of numbers, but so how many times you tell this nigga fuck you and fuck you bitch? And I think bro, I think honestly, sex prolongs bad relationships. Do you think good sex prolongs bad relationships? So do you think good dick and pussy be the reason why a nigga a bitch ain't gonna leave each other? It ain't that, it's just it'll be the reason why a nigga uh, like I keep fucking with a bitch. Yeah, deal with But I'm talking about when you really in love, bro. Yeah, well, what's some things like if you in love with this nigga dirty motherfucking draws, fam? And no matter what, what y'all go through, y'all break up and get back together. No it ain't no limit. But on that, so on that type of love, there's no limit on how many times we make up and break up? Because why do we keep, why is there such a pattern of us breaking up? You don't really care to figure it out either. Because you so... Stuck on, I don't know, love, dick, combination of being comfortable, you know, stability. Quote, unquote. Definitely, quote, unquote. But I don't know. So, how many times are you gonna make up and break up before it's time to go? You're wasting time. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> I don't know. It's time to dip, nigga. <laughs> I ain't ready. It's not going it. nowhere. And then sometimes a bitch just need help on bills. So or you think this house pay with a nigga? Really? Get help on bills? Hell yeah, yeah. Help you watch the little girl. You may, maybe he was picking up your little girl or something. Okay. So. <coughs> Shit like that. So y'all hoes staying with niggas to get help on bills? Y'all hoes stay with me. I ain't gonna lie, but if you pay a lot of rent, you gonna yeah. stay and be okay. unhappy, bro. You're miserable every day. Who wants to come home to that? Hey. I need my peace. Fuck that shit. You figure it out. Oh. Until I get like a certain amount, I'm gonna take advantage of the situation. I ain't gonna be dumb. I'm bitch. But shit, I mean, if a nigga pant. If a nigga paying all my motherfucking money and I'm unhappy, bitch, I'm gonna sit there and be unhappy until yeah. I get an X amount in my bank account. No, I'm not. And then I'm gonna do. Bye, nigga. Shit. You could go out there and use the next nigga. Because guess not what? Use this. No, guess what? Because if he's been paying bills, you know, this stacking, ho. You ain't gonna wait till that nigga cheat and then decide to stack. Okay, because in case he you want to be stacking, hoes, you stay until you get your stack. 
Well, you got me in toes, better start stacking prior. So when he do fuck off, you can deal because you do have stacks. Like and you can be happy. In case you bitches plus a stack. Yeah, yeah I'll I'll stay around. Lops is going on trips, buying bags and all that bullshit like I would have been doing. Then, that's when you, okay, okay, let me chill. We done. Okay. That's when you start stacking. Okay, but I just say make sure you good. Make sure you're in a good position before you deal. Well, don't just home. deal because you mad. So every day is, don't deal because so you every mad. Every day is bitch, fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck don't, you, ho. Bitch, say some of the fuck yous. Don't be stupid. Don't deal because nah. you mad. That's how hoes get fucked up. So every day he coming in that bitch, he's so sick of you, but you ain't going nowhere because he paying the bills. Every day is, ho, fuck you, ho. I'll be glad when we done with And I'll just be checking, okay, got about, mm, about three more, about three more months. Oh my god, bitch, fuck you every day. Fuck you, ho. I don't Side care. Side ass bitch. Okay. Get out of my shit, ho. Okay. You a dog ass bitch. Okay. I don't water. want you, ho. Do you want some ice with that wine, baby? I don't want you, ho. <laughs> Bitch, I don't want shit, huh? Okay, baby, I love you. I'm gonna fuck another bitch in this house, too. Okay, and I love you. And I love you. You still ain't gonna leave, And I love you. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck two bitches in front of you. Oh, two? Yeah. Can I watch? Yeah. Okay. We're good. I'm gonna make them all drop your bitch ass. I'm gonna fuck You still gonna stay out? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cause bitch, them bitches got to go ahead.
And again, it does depend on who in the depth of it. If it's like a one-time thing, one-night thing, okay. But if it's like something I find out that's been ongoing, like something that's been going on like a month or two months or maybe even six months and I literally had just found out. Exactly. That's, I don't think that's something I could walk away from. Somebody you've cheated on me with for six months. Because I feel like if I would have never found out, it wasn't going to You've gained some emotion by that time. By that time, you're like... You you like you know more than what you're doing yeah. at this point. Yeah, it's yeah. more than about just cheating on my wife at this point. At this point, it's like okay, I care, I kind of I care for this person. Like so, I'm gonna have to. I don't know. It'll be hard. It will we'll probably need some counseling, some shit like that. But so you'll be willing to go to counseling and try yeah. to work it out. Okay, so when we think about Brady Max, if Maxfield, he's putting his efforts in, like he gotta be showing me. I can't be like, well, let's go to counseling. I'm not. He okay. Be offering that booty. So let's talk about Brady Maxfield. When her and her nigga been together for a couple of a long time, but they went on like y'all on Van and he said he confessed to fucking with over two hundred women. Wow. Would you be willing to forgive your husband? This is your husband. Wow. You have a son by y'all been together. Y'all been there kind of like on some high school sweetheart type shit. But he confessed and he been fucked over two hundred women. Wow. Are you willing to make that shit happen? No. You have a problem. You're an info. You don't want to be married at this point. That's what I take from that. Would you believe he loves you still? He passed the blunt still. Yep. Yeah, he did that shit. He confessed to cheating with over 200 women. And now I'm seeing IG pictures of them two hugged up and doing all that dumb ass shit together. Wow. I mean, well, they had separated for a while when she found out he cheated the last time, but. Oh, so I have a question. Yes. But you, bitch. And anybody else who want to chime in? I read you. What if you fuck with a nigga? About five years. Y'all have no kids. No, I would say two years. You fuck with a nigga for two years. Y'all have no kids. Y'all break up for about a month. He get a bitch pregnant in that month. He wants to come back. You taking him back. After you taking him back, he tells you he got the bitch pregnant. Are you going to continue to stay? So we break up and he has a baby on the way. But... I love him, right? Y'all have no kids. And we have no kids to get. Oh my God. That's a hard question, Ratchet. Did y'all hear what she said? She said, What have you been with a nigga? You've been in love with this nigga. Y'all went on a little breakup. He ended up fucking with a bitch, got her pregnant. But y'all ended up trying some way, making it work out. Maybe a, maybe a month or two later. After y'all make it work, you let you know he has a baby on the way. She four months pregnant. Three, four months pregnant. Are you going to stay and work it out with him? Because you were so willing before you found out. Oh my gosh. That's such a hard question because you love this man. You finally got him back. You finally got him back. And he's doing everything right. He's doing everything right, Ratchet. But, oh my gosh. But now he hits you with the news of expectancy. I think I'm gonna have to say He don't have no relation with the bitch. It was a he fucked her once or twice, got her pregnant, they never was together, it was nothing. He loves you and wanna be with you. Y'all shit needs to Two rows, don't make it right. Two rows, don't make it right. At 
two wrongs don't make a left. Two wrongs don't make a left. So y'all yeah. both wrong, but he just have a slip up. But you love this man. Do you feel like this is your soulmate? This is your soulmate. Ratchet, are you staying or you dipping? You gonna embrace that man and a child, or you gonna deal? If mm -hmm. you love him, I'm gonna say peace. I'm out. You feel like you'll be able to leave him? But you you're saying that now because you're not in love and you but, never felt like that. But the fact that we don't have any children. Who says y'all still can't have children? It's not on you. But it doesn't matter about us not having children. I just want it to be special enough that we both can experience our first child together. So. But you already have a child. No, I mean, we're still in the scenario. And actually, whenever I start my baby again, I mean. No, I'm saying, what if this happened in real life now? This is, you, you, you been with a man. He don't have no kids. Y'all in love. Y'all, y'all been together, let's say two years. I have been there two years and being together. Something happened. Y'all break up. It's a fucked up breakup. Y'all probably break up three months. Some way y'all end up linking back up. In between that time, eventually he has a baby in the way. After y'all reconcile. But you be like, this is the love of your life. You can still have a family. I'm just gonna go back to Jordan. Squeeze that one up. I'm not gonna go to Jordan. I think I'll be able to. No, like the action of all. I think I'll be able to do it. Just don't mind me, y'all. Ratchets! What's up with that song right quick? I y'all doing over there? Y'all can't hear us over here. Ratchets. Let us know what you think. Let us know, like, if you really in love with that nigga, would you be willing to take him back after y'all reconciled and he said he had a baby on the way? Are you willing to accept him and that baby and feel like, you know, there's the, it's a bigger picture? Y'all love is a bigger picture. I don't know. You know? That should be hard for me to do. So. I, I, that love has to be strong and that love has to be built on something like this. Crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit gotta be on some like never before type shit. I would cry. You would cry. Yeah. It's something that could eventually get over. She would be so hard. It'd be hurtful like a hell of a real song. So back in our bowl, here we go. <laughs> What's some shit a nigga can do that you just can't accept? And vice versa. Be gay. Be down low. You find out he cheating this with a nigga. Oh my god. Yeah. We talk about makeup to breakup break up because this shit happens every day. See the shit we talk about on the show is shit that's factual. And it's really some down low niggas out here. And it's a lot of down low niggas. So again, if you Tell find me. So what's some shit a nigga can do to you and you in love no, with? We that is not acceptable. That's not what's up. But that's, your, that's some shit a nigga can do, right? Yeah. Okay, so what she a nigga can do for me is cheat on me with my partner. Oh, that's definitely another fuck you. That's some shit you can't come back on. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't come back on it. Okay, I can't. Your husband. Hell no, nah, that's even worse. You can't come back on. Husband is even worse. So if a nigga on some gay shit, you can't come back from it. Oh no. If a nigga okay, fuck okay. around with your partner, we can't come back from mm -hmm. it. What's some other shit you so can't just what's some shit no matter how in love what you is with that nigga, you just you just can't come back from? Like definitely two mains. I mean Gay nigga and a, a nigga that fuck with my partner. Period. What about yeah. family member? Cousin. Same shit. All this in the cousin. same category. This and cousin. Like what kind of distance? I'm talking about. Well, you know, I'm talking about married men. Okay, but do have me and husband. We're trying to kiss on. Are we cool? Like, what's our relationship? I mean, this also a family reunion. When I look, I see you. I see you tight shit. Mm -hmm. It ain't my favorite because it's a tight right. shit. I'm a trip, but are you, you know, willing to break? For my level of trip might not be that. You, high. So you can come back from it. Period. I mean, you said damn really bit. I'm damn talking about some married yeah. Married yeah. 
Cause you know the cousins are probably she ain't gonna be in welcome no more. So I ain't gotta worry about seeing them. So you come back from because this is your husband we're talking about. You know, shit change on this nigga, your husband, your boyfriend. Shit, I'm you can't fuck you his That what you gonna be on? Nah, I'm just like, bitch. <laughs> So what's some other shit you can't come back from? Family, friends, and oh, stealing from me. Oh my god, you gotta. But go this your husband, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Is it such a thing that your husband stealing from you? Why the fuck are you okay with anyone stealing from you? I'm saying, what would you consider him taking? Like if he took stealing like, is stealing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not what you're talking about. Bitch, stealing is stealing. So I consider what's the name? What's one thing a, a husband would steal from you, bitch? Money. But y'all have a joint account, right? If we don't, if he's stealing it, obviously we probably don't. I probably so he was taking it. money out your account? He probably was. You so if he found out, so he found out that your, your nigga was taking money out, your husband was taking money out your account, you want a divorce immediately? Well, yeah, I would be able to trust you. I can trust was you. Was it something you'd be willing to talk about? I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's one of my, you know how everybody got their thing? Yeah. That's my thing. A thief. I can't be around a thing. You can't trust him, so you don't be like that. So you can come back from him if you found out he was stealing from you. I got family members who stole from me, and I don't even deal with them the same. So, it's your husband. my husband, I can't trust you. You will steal from me? What? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like why? Would they you niggas steal? do that shit though. They steal from how? Niggas steal from. Niggas go steal from hoes though. Long God, they do. And I don't know why. A bitch go get to they nigga. I don't even know why. A nigga, nigga she fuck with her. A nigga who's looking out for her, she gonna look out. A bitch gonna look out for a nigga she fuck with. Period. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna ask a question. We asked this question a long time ago. A lot of people don't remember. A question was asked. She is messy! And that's why we ended the show. No, I'm I'm ending the show! A question was asked. You're so messy, bitch. A question. Y'all have never seen anybody get dropped on the show. 17 episodes in. Can so like I said, a question was night. asked on this show. Why are you? Uh, okay, so loyal to the show. What episode was this? Bitch, it was probably oh, like, but she don't even remember how I can. I can I'm not bringing it up. Eh. Yeah. Okay. What was the question? If y'all nigga likes to get fucked in the ass with a deal, though, is that gay? I say hell, but motherfucking yes. Somebody else, on the other hand, disagreed. That wasn't the question. The question was if you found if your husband likes him fucked in the ass with a deal down, if you found out, are you gonna divorce him? Did I just not ask that question? Is it is it okay, but your husband would be considered gay or bisexual. So that means you would be accepting a bisexual man. No, I didn't say I agree with you at all. She did! Yes, you did! Me and Kira had the same answer. Oh my god. We did. I wish we had a motherfucker on this comment to say, Yes, you did. I was the only one on this whole, like, that's some gay shit. And you was like, Well, how you know he gay? Because that's his emotions. His emotions make you gay. Yes, you did! Like to get fucked in the ass with a dildo. Is that something you would leave him for? And do you consider him to be a bisexual? Yeah, what is your answer? Yes. Hmm. I agree also. But if some bitches out there who really don't think that shit is gay. Like, even like, okay, what about this? Niggas been talking about 
the skin between your dick and the asshole, they like that shit to be lit. You're talking about the line. Because that's the line what between is- the dick and the asshole. It's the line that niggas have that's dropped below the balls. <laughs> okay, so for my ratchet followers, <laughs> here, you get the blood, I'm going to demonstrate. Okay. Sometimes we have demonstrations. We can do this as the dick. Hold the dick. You got the dick, right? I know what it is. We both know what it is. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know about touch, because I ain't looking on nigga, uh, whatever line. We okay. Sucking balls is different. Sucking balls is different. Stop! <laughs> I don't want you to stop! <laughs> Shit. 
fuck it. <laughs> Yeah. We still here. 